When I tell you today is going to be warm, it's like saying, don't think of an elephant. But it's something you have to prepare yourself for. The more you think about it in one way, it creates a lot of problems. A lot of aversion can come up around the heat of the day and the lack of a nice, cool place to escape. And so in one way, you could just okay, put those thoughts aside. Okay, if it's too hot to do the work you want to do, at least you can rest. You can sit and meditate. If it's too hot even to sit, you can lie down. You lie down and it's too hot to fall asleep, but well, still you've got the breath. And the breath can be cool, the breath can be hot. You ask yourself, what kind of breathing is cooling? You can't do anything about the heat outside, but your sense of the warmth in the body is something you can explore to find that not every place is as hot as every other place. There are cooler spots. And when you focus intently on the cooler spots and say, to hell with everything else, I'm going to stay right here, you find the mind it doesn't have to suffer nearly as much. Or you can simply watch that thought that says, I'm tired of being in this hot place, I'm tired of being in this hot place. And you might ask yourself, well, when are you going to get tired of that thought? What happens when you drop that? And there are a lot of good lessons to be learned when it's hot, when it's cold, when it's raining, when it's dry. You learn a lot of lessons about the mind, and that's what we're here for. So remember that, as they say, your sense of self is what's making you suffer. And you look around and say, well, where is my sense of self? The sense of self is at that moment when they're complaining, it's the complaining voice. And that's where the real suffering is coming from. As the Buddha said, the things that change in the world, they're stressful and not self. But this doesn't really have an impact on the mind unless you pull it in, make it part of your issue. Why couldn't someone have designed a nice, cool summer all summer long? Why do we have to have this heat wave? Oh, well, there's nobody up there designing. It's just the way things are. And what happened to all the cool months we had? Well, you can't tap back into them now. It would be nice if you could go back and tap into some of that coolness and bring it into your room, bring it into your tent. But we can't do that. So this is where you turn around and say, okay, the, the real problem right now is not the heat, it's the mind complaining about the heat. So either you find a cooler place in the body just to hang out and say, well, so much for the plans for the rest of the day, or whatever plans you had for today, just hang out with the coolness. Or you can turn around and look at that voice, which is constantly complaining. It's okay, that's the real problem. and learn how to develop a sense of dispassion and disenchantment with the whole thing. With this complaining voice, where has it gotten you? Occasionally it gets you somewhere, but most of the time it just causes a lot of trouble. So instead of asking yourself, when is this heat going to end, you might ask, well, when is this complaining voice going to end? Why do you have to keep feeding it? Why do you have to keep giving it energy? That's an area where you do have control, and this is one of the basic lessons. You know, sort of Wisdom 101 is knowing what's your responsibility and what's not your responsibility, what you can change and what you can't change. And so to try to apply that lesson. We, do, we tend to overlook the, the basic lessons, the simple ones, and are hoping for higher insights. But the higher insights come from taking the best basic lessons and really how they, realizing how they apply deep down into the mind, not just on the superficial level, but on all levels of the practice. That's something worth keeping in mind.